There are three different ways to connect the Ethernet cable of the bullet cameras E44, E45, and E46. This video clip covers all the three methods. The first one is the easiest one. It is so-called non-waterproof installation. We have the camera here with the cable out with the RJ45 male type. And in a camera package, you can find two packs of accessories that can be used for doing the cabling and I'm going to explain how to use these two groups. And um, we also have the, the cable from the installation site that has to be connected to the camera somehow. And we have three different ways to do it and I'm going to explain now. This is the two-sided connector. And you see that there is a female type of RJ45 on both ends. So simply just plug in and all the way in and do the same with the camera's cable. And when it's properly plugged in, actually the connection has been made and the installation is complete. Uh, you can use this simple way for installations indoors or um, in any place in some kind of box, uh, junction box where the water or dust doesn't get in. So you can save your time by that. The second type it takes a few more steps, but the advantage of the second type is that it's totally waterproof. So we're going to use all, all the pieces on the right side here. So I separate them into three different groups here. This one goes with the left cable, this one with the right cable, and the connector, the two-sided one that I just used will be in the middle. I'm going to connect all the three with each other. And uh, you can pay attention to the sequence here. So first of all, I'm going to remove the clamping nut from the body of, uh, and then insert the cable through the clamping nut. And leave it there. And there is a little seal that has uh, one side open. So you can actually uh, put it like this onto this cable, right like that. And leave it like that. And then we will put the main body of this connector also like this around this cable. So stick the cable through this connector and have all these three pieces aligned like this. Okay, you show it. I show you it. Okay, so this one is done. So let's move on to this blue cable that is the installation site. And and we do it exactly the same way. The first step, the clamping nut, then the seal, and then the main body like this. And do not connect them yet. The first step that we have, we have to now do is to use this two-sided connector and plug the, the, both of the cables into that connector. And the thicker side will be facing the installation site, not the camera. And the, the reason is that uh, we will use that thicker side also on the third type of installation where it really matters. In this case, actually, it doesn't matter. Okay, and now we will first mount the, the main body of this connector onto this two-sided connector. And remember to do this one first before we actually go for the, the clamping nut because this way the cables do not get twisted. That's very important that we don't twist the cables while we are trying to squeeze anything here. And push the seal into the body of the connector. And when it's all the way in, then we will use this clamping nut to tighten the whole thing. And once you have tightened it, that side will be fully waterproof. Okay, the water will not get in from that side anymore. Okay, you see, it's very tight around the cable now. And we will do the same for this side. Okay, it's just put this seal into the body of this connector, push it in, and then here goes the, the clamping nut, yes, and tighten it. Having done so, the whole solution here is fully waterproof. It can be outdoors, on, under an open sky, the rain can pour on it and nothing will happen. So this is the, the second type. Th the third type is for the cases when we have this kind of uh, flex conduit or any kind of water type uh, tubings. Uh, with the cable in, in it. And we want to connect this to our camera solution. 
We have the same situation here. Two connectors have to be connected together. However, the water might get into the tube. So to prevent water from getting into the tube, I have to use different way. So this is the camera side. It's exactly the same as we did for the second type. However, for the, the, the blue cable side, we will change another configuration here. So use the components from another pack. I have uh, aligned them here. So this is the, the, for the tubing and this is the converter ring. This one and this one will all be connected together. Okay, I'll, there is a little uh, lock nut. I'm not going to use it for this installation. Use the lock nut only for like junction boxes if you want to protect it from the inside of the junction box. And I open it into the parts here and you will see how I'm going to connect them now. Again, the first step is the clamping nut that goes through the, the tube like this. And the second one is the sealing insert. Okay, it has to go firmly onto the top of this tube. Okay, it's all the way now in. And uh, this is the way it's supposed to look like. Okay, so the third thing that we're going to do is the main body that goes into the this thing, but however, I'm not going to push it all the way onto this uh, ceiling insert right now. I'm going to just leave it a little bit out here. So, for the same reason, I when I start to put these things together, I don't want to twist the cable. And here goes the the converter that converts different types, and I can actually, okay, put it all in already. It won't influence the cable. Okay, and now it is time to connect the cables together. So here is my two-sided connector and I use it just like I did with the previous two installation types. This cable goes all the way in. You can see, however, if you want to do it fully waterproof, you have to use this washer. Just remember that. Push it all the way in, all around the connector here like that. And this way, there will be no water getting in between this two-sided connector and the converter. Okay, and now you can plug it in. And once it's plugged in, we can now connect all these three pieces. And please note that because the, the clamping nut has not been uh, connected yet, therefore I'm not twisting the cable. So it's very important the cable does not get twisted. It's loose here, you see. So now it is the time to actually uh, do the final connection. And we make it fully waterproof from the, the tube side, basically. As to the camera side, it's very simple. We have done it already, so that's exactly the same as the, the second type of installation. So it's very simple. The first we will plug it in. After that, we'll use the body of the connector. When this is done, then we take the seal and push it in. And the last step after this is to, to use the clamping nut to um, complete the installation. And you can see that now the bullet camera, the cabling has been done with the fully waterproof solution and connected to the, the watertight tube. So, and you see this way, the camera is on the wall, the cable comes out from the side, and this camera can be installed to the tube just like that. And these are the three ways. The choice is now yours. Thank you very much.